Hey, so I started getting this new snack called Keto Crate. Um, I've already opened the side because it's not easy to do if I'm holding the camera, the, the phone. So uh, this is the first of me actually opening it though. So this is new for me, Keto Crate. They've got some stuff on the inside talking about believing in yourself, long-term fixes long-term well-being rather than a quick fix that is oh and it does say on the front i should mention it says always low carb and it says aspartame free maltitol free soy and sucrose soy and sucralose conscious keto approved now this is the November box. I just ordered a few days ago and they already had shipped it out. Um, and I actually put the wrong address for some reason. And I ended up, you know, them within a day, basically fixing the address before they shipped it out. They, so they were pretty fast and they used FedEx for shipping. So right as soon as I open it up, I see they have a Thanksgiving survival guide and talking about sugar and carbs galore and how you can not go off track. You know, you're on your own for surviving your family members though. So turkey is keto. And then basically a bunch of tips here on what to do. So I, my, my, as after Halloween, I ate too much candy as was not surprising. And I've been paying for it since with my sugar, my glucose levels being very high. Having to take extra uh, diabetic medication for it. So this is, you know, this is something I needed to do. So I'll read this over later, just giving a chance for people to look at it. So they've got some stuff about some of the keto stuff in the box, some recipes, some of the brands that they're providing. They do have a store where you can get some of these yourself. I also got Julian bread, which I'm gonna try. They have like keto bread that's primarily made out of eggs, it looked like. So let's look at the snacks here. I'm gonna actually pull this closer to me so I can look at these. So we have strawberry lime nut butter, cookie, fat snacks, cookie, lemony lemon. We have some salami whips. So some salami here. We have sea salt pecan, sugar-free. Looks like chocolate maybe. Yeah, dark chocolate. Oh, nice. 85%. That looks pretty darn good. Show the back of it and the information here. It is 12 grams of carbs. So 24 grams of carbs, but none of it's sugar. But it is using that alcohol-based sugar, erythritol. Okay, so we got here, looks like keto cake. So I'd have to make cake in that instance. Looks like a keto bar, chocolate chunk cookie dough. Sounds good. Definitely wearing me on the chocolate stuff here. Classic chocolate bar called Nordy. Fuel bar. So we got plenty of these bars here. Peanut butter, cacao, or however it's pronounced. Crispy cuts, pork rinds. One carb per serving. How many servings? Two. So that's pretty low. Yeah, that's very low, that's good. We've got croutons, protein croutons. One gram of sugar. Bunker Hill crunchy cheese crisps. These look really good. Very nice. That actually looks really, really good. Love cheese crisps. And then another energy bar 
So I will actually try these. And unlike the Yum Box where it's very difficult for me to actually eat too many because there's like large quantities of yums, these seem to be maybe more digestible quantities. I'm probably gonna try this, this um, candy bar today since it's not too bad, probably for the amount and uh, see about the others. A lot of energy bars, so I'll try those throughout the week and try to do a review on the ones that are actually good. And maybe, I guess the ones that are good and bad, like the best and the worst. But yeah, I'm looking forward to these. Um, Keto Crate Thanksgiving Survival Guide will be read to see how I can survive Thanksgiving even though I'm working it so it shouldn't actually be that hard for me as long as I'm good. All right, take care and, you know, eat well. Bye-bye.